It's like a video game, but the new lessons learned with it could mean life or death for Dallas police officers who are on the streets. New at 10 o'clock tonight, Andrea Lucia got to experience a whole new approach to training for officers in 2019. Yeah, do me a favor, drop the crowbar. Yeah, well, Officers here are practicing their response to a call about a suspicious person. One is distracted by a figure hiding behind a car when the other notices a man approach from behind. Good, good, good. The scene may be fake, but it's designed to feel as real as possible. It's nerve wracking. Officers are outfitted with all the same weapons they carry on the street, and they work together in pairs to protect each other. You have a 300 degree awareness that you need to be uh, keep focus on. Keep your hands where I can see them. A lot has changed in seven years since my first peek at the department's simulation training. He whipped out a knife. Back then, with everything projected onto one wall, it was easy to know where to focus. I gave the new technology a go and found myself in a school shooting scenario. I got one over here. Senior Corporal Harry Blust covered my back while I tried watching his. I managed to take down one shooter. That was so hard when I was hearing gunfire on your end. I wanted to, to there, turn. Right? I wanted to turn around and face where the gunfire was coming from. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's important for us to communicate. The simulator allows officers to review where their shots landed, and if they're shot in the back during a simulation, a device on the officer's belt clip delivers a shock. Oh God! <laughs> Something they were happy bad, to demonstrate. Right? <laughs> it is like a bee sting. It feels like a bee sting. Instructors say officers so far love training on the new simulator. They love the fact that they get the extra repetitions. <laughs> Practicing and improving their skills for any danger they may face. About 350 officers have been through this training already. That's about 10% of the force. The hope is eventually the entire department will get to experience it. In Dallas, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News. Andrea also tells us most of the scenarios that the officers run through in that simulator do, do not end in gunfire. We saw a lot of it there, obviously. But the goal for officers is always to de-escalate the tense situations using deadly force only when absolutely necessary.